Hey guys, ECRG here, back with another episode. I've been getting a lot of questions from you guys. I guess I've got a decent uh, Indian following, uh, people from India, so shout out to you guys. This video is for you or anyone who's moving to India or located in India and trying to get clinical research. So I've gotten a lot of questions about how to go about getting into clinical research in India. And this video is really gonna be specific for people that are looking to stay in India. Um, some of the my recommendations that I've given is India has got a large population of people, over a billion people uh, that live there. So companies are trying to expand their operations there and they're trying to conduct clinical research there. So this is a great opportunity for you guys in an underdeveloped market to kind of ride that wave and get in the industry during this substantial time of growth. So I don't know what's going on, why, why there's so many questions around this. So I'm gonna see what I can find today by going on Google and seeing what I can learn about the Indian market and learn about which companies are there trying to expand. And I've done a little preliminary research so I know there's a lot of information out there. So I'm just gonna share that with, with you guys today. Um, but before we go ahead and hop up in that, I wanna let you guys know about the resume review program, which is something that a lot of people have been emailing me about lately. Um, I've been doing, you know, uh, these resume reviews weekly, sometimes bi-weekly for the past couple months now. So thank you for all those people who have emailed me their resume and have participated. Thank you so much. Um, it helps continue to allow me to make these videos on a regular basis and it helps support the channel. Um, so thank you for that. There's also interview prep. So if you've got an interview coming up and you, you want to make sure that you are in the best position to land that job, I do interview prep also. Um, anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour to an hour and a half if you want. Got different different rates there for that. Um, so email me, eliteclinicalgroup at gmail.com if you're interested in that. And thank you guys for listening. So like I said before, this video is about India. So I'm going to go ahead and see what I can find. Clinical research in India. Let's, let's see what we can find. Um... So just right off the bat, I see some ads here. We got PSI CRO, Clinical Research India, focused on timely delivery. Cineos Health, which I know for sure that they have operations there in regulatory records. So let's just see what we can find. We've got an article here, August 8th, 2017, Conducting Clinical Trials in India, Opportunities and Challenges. Uh, let's see what we can find. Um, um, so the operational costs of clinical trials are generally lower in BRIC countries such as India. Outsourcing of the intense administrative parts of research as well as the regulatory and ethics filings. So this is what I found is that there are a robust number of regulatory positions in India because um, I've worked with some of these people before. These are the people that place documents in the TMF. So if you're interested in getting your foot in the door in clinical research, this is a great way to go about doing it. So they are outsourcing a lot of these jobs to India. So look out for those. Um, they've also talked about you know a larger number of patients. You've got a large number of uh, doctors over there. You got a large number of people interested in research over there. But also, look at this quicker enrollment. That's that's one of the biggest issues that you have in clinical research in the in the U.S. or around the world in general is slow enrollment. Enrollment taking longer than it needs to. Well, in India, you've got over a billion people there, and you and you can have quicker enrollment, less regulatory hurdles, things of that nature. Cheaper to, to do a trial there. So, guys, this this just means opportunity for you. Now, it may not be in your hometown. You may have to move towns, move cities, but there's opportunity here. I'm trying to tell you. So, the India advantage. Um, look. India's economy shows signs of robust growth and increased spending on healthcare needs is expected to drive revenue growth for pharma companies. The Indian pharma industry today is the third largest market globally in terms of volume and 14th largest by value. Blah, 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 blah. So look, India offers a large and diverse genetic pool of a treatment naive population for clinical trials. With a population of more than 1.2 billion and projected to increase to 1.6 billion by 2050, is being set to become the world's most populous country in the world, outnumbering even China. So guys, this, this, is, this just means good. 
Look, the emergence of chronic diseases like cancer, which is not, not good, uh, that's, that's diet. CNS diseases, diabetes, cardiovascular, is gonna drive demand for new therapies. Um, look, India has the highest number of FDA approved manufacturing plants outside the US. With increasing focus on const constraining healthcare costs in the US, India's low cost manufacturing capabilities combined with high quality standards are advantageous. Guys, I'm trying to tell you, India is gr is gotta be great for clinical research. Now, it may not be in your hometown, but hey, they're there. Look, look at these, look at these. This is an article, you see the link. I don't need to mention that. Clinical, well, I guess for the people listening on the podcast, clinicalleader.com um, has this article about conducting clinical research in India, and that's what I'm looking at. And look, large number of specialists in different therapy segments, so large number of PIs, uh, medical training in English, so they speak English, 600,000 English-speaking physicians, which is great, advanced training from Europe and U.S., um, treatment protocols in line with the U.S., a large number of ICHGCP compliant investigators. This is huge, guys. In India is a great place to conduct research, as you can see. And then the patient populations. Um, large, diverse, therapy naive, large patient pool in cro acute and chronic disease segment, increasing number of patients in lifestyle disorder segment. Um, over 200 medical colleges, 22,000 graduates per year, 15,000 hospitals, 14,000 diagnostic labs, 700,000 scientists and engineering graduates per year, world-class medical lab facilities, and skilled computer-savvy biomedical force. So guys, India is a great place to conduct research, and there are opportunities for you, as shown by this article. Let's see what else. I mean, I, I, keep, I keep getting... Um, Look, India, this is August 2018. You know, this video is being made in November, no, December 2018. Sorry, guys. Um, December 2018. India is poised to become one of the largest clinical trial hubs, says CRO. I'm trying to tell you guys, there's, there's plenty of opportunity out there. I get a lot of emails from people saying they want to leave India and go, go elsewhere. But if I was there you know, reading some of these articles, I would double down in India. Um, I would definitely want to position myself where in five, 10 years, India is going to be one of the greatest places to conduct research. And there's going to be so much opportunity. Um, let's see what else I can find. Uh, look, the Indian clinical trials industry has begun seeing an upward trend since 2014. India has now the potential of becoming one of the largest clinical trial hubs with the expected market growth of 12%. This positive trend has been primarily supported by several regulatory enhancements introduced by the Indian government, making it amenable and reliable environment once again to a run efficient clinical trials. So look guys, I mean, you can, you can read these articles. I just typed in clinical research in India. Um, so look, let's go on IQVIA.com. Let's see if we can find any jobs in India. Let's see. Um, so I, I'm just, I have no idea what I'm going to find here. No idea. Let's see. Is, is it, is APAC India? Oh, it is. All right. So look, look at this. India offices. They've got a ton of offices. IQVIA. This is the largest CRO. They've got a ton of offices here. And they've got phone numbers for you. Look, I mean, it, I, it can't be any easier than this. I mean, I'm just doing this on Google. They got all these phone numbers in for these places. So this is just one company. This is why I'm showing you what to do. You go to your you go to their website and look for careers. So here's the careers tab. All right. Let's see if we can search for jobs in India. 
177 jobs in Bangalore, India for IQVIA. Open right now. Um, some of these are posted, what's today? December 8th. Some of, the, some of these are posted right now in Bangalore, India. Safety Associate, Senior Clinical Data Coordinator. Now, of course, you may not be you know, able to apply for all of these. Some of these are definitely going to be uh, you know, not entry level, but there are opportunities here. This is just one company. Look, centralized Monitor. Um, data Team Lead. I, I realize some of you aren't seeing this. Clinical Coding Specialist. Clinical Data Specialist. Centralized Monitor. Lab Project Setup Coordinator. Lab Clinical Data Al an Analyst. One. Medical Writing Trainee. Medical Writing Trainee. Another one. Senior QA Auditor. Clinical Data Coordinator. Assistant Clinical Data Manager. Associate Programmer. Associate Manager. Operations Specialist. So, Biostatician. Project Coordinator. Look, guys, there are plenty of opportunities out here. That's just one company. That's just one company, guys. Um, let's see. Can we find... Let's see. Is there an Indeed.com? Let's see if we can find... Clinical Research. Let's see if we can find something in India. Let's see if we can find Bangalore... All right, so you can do the same thing. You come in here on Indeed.com, you just type in clinical research in India. And look, a thousand jobs. I'm on page one of a thousand jobs on Indeed. So let's see, we can do relevance. You can uh, do it by city, you can do it by company. Let's, let's just mention some of the companies that have clinical research. Sarthi Consultancy, Novartis, Indian Pharma Resources, IQVIA, GE, uh, J. Mitra & Co., Quintiles, as we heard, Hiring Heads, Cactus, Icon, Philips. I've done a, re a review on Icon also. Um, look, I'm seeing clinical CRA in Mumbai for PRA. Um, let's see, Indian Pharma Resources, Inventive Health has operations there. Clinical Research Associate 2. Clinical Research Associate. Wow, look at this. Indian Pharma Resources. They've got a Clinical Research Associate 1 position. Clinical Research Coordinator. Guys, there are positions out here. I don't, I don't understand what the issue is. Um, so if you're having trouble finding a job in India, um, comment down below this video. Um, now, maybe, maybe you're not having trouble finding jobs. You're having trouble landing a job. And that could be because your resume, you're not getting it viewed by the right people. So if you need some consulting on that, um, email me eliteclinicalgroup at gmail.com. Maybe your interview skills are, we are, not, are not good. Maybe they're weak and you need help there. So once again, you can email me for help there at eliteclinicalgroup at gmail.com. Um, maybe you need some personal uh, assistance and mentorship around how to go about doing this. And once again, you can email me there at eliteclinicalgroup at gmail.com. So, you know, I've, I've done this. I've literally just typed in clinical research on Indeed and typed in clinical research in Google in India and have gotten a lot of information on, on it. Um, you see India is poised to explode in clinical research and clinical trials, so it's a good place to be. I've also been recommending China a lot for people that are looking to leave India. Um, obviously, you can go to the U.S. if you can get in. Uh, there's other places you can go, Canada, the United Kingdom. Um, there's, I mean, obviously, you can go anywhere in the world if you are able to. But I just want to let make this video and let you guys know that there are opportunities for you right there in India to... Uh, there are opportunities for you right there in India if you want to pursue a career in clinical research. Uh, plenty of opportunities. Plenty of opportunities. Um, you've got to hustle. You've got to send your resume out there. You've got to meet people, you've got to network. It's the same stuff that I talk about here in the USA. It's the same stuff, guys. So thank you so much for listening. As always, 
If you have any questions about getting your resume reviewed, you want to take it to the next level, uh, I can help you there. Or if you want to improve on your interview skills, I can help you there also. You guys know where to reach me. Take care.